In this exercise, we're going to focus in developing shoulder mobility, specifically if you've got a frozen shoulder. So what you need for here is a dowel. If you're at home, you might use a broomstick or a handle. Or if you're at a gym, you might be able to use some kind of rod as well. So what we're going to do from here, so for example, this, my right shoulder is going to be the frozen shoulder. What you want to do is place our hands onto the ends of the pole. And what we're going to do from here is we're going to keep this arm like jelly. So we don't want to be doing any movement or any contraction for the muscle groups. So it will be coming from the left hand. So what we're going to do from here is we're just going to pull this pole towards the end. Again, keeping this arm nice and relaxed. Coming back down, pushing through the left hand and coming through to the top. So we're just going to keep on focusing on just rowing, if you like, to bring the arm back up. So we'll go for 10 to 15 repetitions. Once we've done that, we're then going to take the arm backwards. So we're going to bring our left hand up in front of us, keeping this right arm relaxed. And then we're going to push the arm back and then bring the left hand to bring it back up again. So just again, just rowing, keeping this right arm relaxed and going for a full stretch, trying to get to the deep outer range as much as possible. And then what we can do from there is we can then bring the bar across our body so it's in front of us. And then we're going to push it up past a hand past our shoulder height. So we're just focusing on rowing, keeping that right arm relaxed, and we're just pushing with this left hand. Coming up and there. And what we can do from here as well is you can grab the pole like this, and we can just push it by keeping elbow tucked into us. We can just develop in some of that external rotation. So we're just coming out to the side. Okay, and then you can then pull the arm to the left, and you can pull the arms across the body. If you're struggling to get that full range, we're just trying to get the shoulder to work in all the ways that it should be able to, but keeping it all relaxed. So that's the first part you're going to do. The next part, what we're going to focus on now is getting some activation of the muscle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our right arm again, and we're going to work into an area where it's about a six to 10, a six out of 10. And this means what we want to do is having some pushing past that barrier where the pain is, is trying to protect us, but enough for us to cause some adaption, but not too much pain. So what we're going to do from here is simply with both hands holding the rods, we're going to come up to 90 degrees and back down. Okay, so we're just coming up nice and slow, keeping our chest open, our shoulders down and relaxed, so we're not breaking them up. We're just coming up to this motion here. So nice and slowly working our way. Okay, what we can do from there is to advance it, we can go into single arm. And if that's still easy, then you can bring your hand closer to the end because it's going to cause some rotation of the shoulders. So you want to keep that fist nice and flat. And we're going to start to work in some more pressure and some more into the muscle groups around the shoulder blade. From there, you can again simply hold the stick. We can bend our arm, make it easy, coming up into 90 degrees, lifting our arm up working through that pain up to maximum of six out of 10. Okay, we can go backwards as well. So we're just using a light weight to start with, get some high repetitions, get the body used to just moving. And then obviously we can then increase the difficulty um, by making the arm more straighter, holding one end of the pole. So we're just working on different muscle groups to get it working. So I hope you found that useful for your first stage of the recovery back from frozen shoulder. Let me know how you find that.